367, I believe. Um, 367. Y'all know how Walmart prices are. 337, 367. Why is it not showing up on my receipt? Three. I'm probably looking right over them, too. Oh, no, they were 368. Okay, so I was close. Yeah, 368. So I got those. I, I can't now wait to try those. I've, I had the chocolate ones. I've had the brown sugar and cinnamon ones, all pretzel varieties. Now I got the true one. This is the one that actually made me want to try the pretzel flavor pop tart. So now I got all three. Um, so far, I like the chocolate ones better. Um, yeah. So now I got these. Um, like I said, I got the mustard. Uh, the mustard was a dollar. The greens were da 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 da. Y'all. This was nostalgic for me. So I got this jar of candle. This is a Yankee candle. This is Midsummer's Night Dream. Or Midsummer's Night Dream with an S. This took me back to 2009 when I worked for Yankee Candle. That was my first job inside uh, Chapel Hill Mall in 2009. It was a seasonal job of October of 2009. Y'all, when I seen this in Walmart, I was like, oh my gosh. I've been seeing these everywhere. But I've never seen the ones that actually look like this. Um, the ones that I've seen, they'll, they'll say something, something, something by Yankee Candle, but they don't have the actual, like, Yankee Candle label on them. I don't know if they're changing the labels or if they're changing the companies or what, but this, this right here, I actually remember this is exact, like, labeling and packaging, so I had to buy this. Um, this was, um, uh, 16, fuck, I, sh I should have had this stuff together, y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, but anyway, this is, uh, let's see here. It's 22 ounces from what I could, when I understand there were 24 or 26 ounces back then. So they cut down on the size of these. However, come, I wish they had smell of vision because this thing smells amazing. I smelt two other ones, but this one, like I said, this one got my vote. I'm like, I'm not about to get like six candles and I can only burn one at a time. So I might not even burn this one. So I'm glad I stopped myself from going crazy with the candles. Because Yankee Candle is, like, addicting. I'm not a candle person, go figure, ironically. But I just love the smell and, like I said, the nostalgic of this. And the quality of Yankee Candle has always been a really good thing. If you guys have Yankee Candle products at home, let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Because, honestly, for working there, yeah, their products are worth it. I'm smelling it right now. It has, like, this manly kind of, like, uh, scent. I can't really describe it. So I said, really, my house smell like a man than a, a woman, if that makes sense. Um, I have enough like girly scents in the house, so that's gonna be my like my manly smell, like my manly girl. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, don't listen to me talk, y'all. Anyway, that candle was um, uh, uh, why is it not showing up? Why can't I find it? This is so frustrating. Walmart has changed their lab their names. Like you can't like find stuff by like just skimming. You have to actually like know or you have to decode. Like some things will say one word and some things will have the full description. Here it is. I found it. It says candle. Uh, it was 1688. There we go. It was 1688. So back when I was working at Yankee Candle, these things, these jar large jars. I think they call them large jars, were like $24, $27, but they were worth it back then. So, to find this for $16, it was worth it. Over here, I got some, I'm almost done my video, by the way, y'all. Over here, I got some more uh, printer paper. At least, I hope this is printer paper. Um, this was, I think, five. No, it was like three something. Um, it was three ninety seven. This is the cheapest one that they had. It says it's for use in paper. Uh, la, la, what did it say on the back? Hold on, it's on the back, y'all. I think it's the inkjet printers, which I don't have. I have a uh, no laser. It says I do for you laser printers, but I looked through a bunch of them and I couldn't find like I'm like, is there a certain type of paper, like a older type of paper or a special type of paper that I have to use for inkjet printers? I don't know. So I'm hoping this like works for uh. What do you call them? My printer, which is inkjet. Inkjet's a more of a home use printer, I guess. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section if y'all that y'all that are tech, you know, tech people. Like I know the difference between inkjet and laser, but as far as the paper goes, it's been a long time since I had an actual printer and used it like on a consistent basis. So I'm new to all this. I just want something cheap. So I got that. 
Um, over here, I have the Tide Simply Clean. This is the Ultra Clean. Um, this was, I think, $10.97. I remember that only because it was $2 more than the regular Tide uh, Simply. Um, I guess it's like, let me see, with added stain fighters. It was $2 more. And I guess you got like maybe 30 ounces less. So I'm going to see if this, you know, does anything different. If it does, I'll try to keep buying it. If not, I'll go back to my little, my uh, $8 Tide or whatever. Because that stuff, the regular Tide that's like in the red bottle is like $20. Oh, no. $17, $20. No, I'm cool. Now when I can get one for half that price in the same size, in the same brand, why, why would you do it? Like if y'all have actual Tide, let me know in the comment section. If it's any different, because for me, I ain't trying to spend that much money on something that does the same thing. It's like spending fifty dollars. No, it's, it's like spending two hundred dollars for a sprint and fifty for a boost. Like it's the same company. The fuck? No, <laughs> not my money. Anyway, y'all. Um, so this is I got this. This is a spicy shelf. I guess it was like an ass seen on TV product. A uh, stackable cabinet organizer. Um, I only bought it because I've been organizing. I've been a, on a really meticulous organizing kick. I'm trying to get back to my organizing ways or whatever. So I got this. Um, as I was going in out, I just like picked up kind of a few things to you know organize my newly decluttered life. <laughs> I sound like I make it sound like I was a hoarder or something, but sometimes you got to go through your stuff and just decide, hey, I don't need this. Throw away the excess. Give away the excess. Especially for if it's just especially if it's just doing. Like one person, if it's just you. <sighs> anyway, so I just bought this because, like I said, I organized my spices. So I have quite a few. So I'm trying to get these, you know, kind of down to like, hopefully it's a fit. Hopefully. If not, hey, I'll figure out something else. Um, and then I also got this uh, five-tier pen organizer. And this pretty much, the visual is what sold me because I know I have pens that are like this size. Or whatever so and i only have like maybe one of these one of these you know so i only have like maybe two i think i have one of these now and like maybe one or two of these so if anything at all i'll put like two pots on there i'm trying to get room down here in this cabinet y'all it's a lot more organized let me see if i can get the light on for y'all without falling yes yeah, a lot more organized but i still want a little bit more organization as y'all can tell, it needs to be organized. It's been like down uh, stacked or whatever you call it, condensed, but it needs just a little bit more help. <clears throat> My big pots, I don't even know if I'm there, but for now, huh, 